let's look at one more problem here with it's going to look a little bit different than the last problem and you'll see as we go through why so let's say a factory is making 814 stuffed animals and they have these giant boxes that 18 stuffed animals can fit in per box to ship out to the local department store and they want to figure out how many boxes they're going to need to purchase so they set up the problem 814 divided by 18 now what should be your first step your first step should be estimating find that compatible number to figure out where we're going to place our first number we know that 18 doesn't go into 8 but we do know that it goes into 81 so we're going to set up the problem we're going to make them into compatible numbers to do that we round the 800 814 down to 800 and the 18 up to 20 so now we underline our basic fact of 8 divided by 2 8 divided by 2 is 4 there's one zero on, on each side so I'm gonna cross off that one zero but there's one left over in the dividend and that's the one I'm gonna drag over so my answer is going to be approximately in the 40 range it could be more it could be less but it needs to be somewhere around 40 but it also tells us what our first number may be so now let's go back to the real problem 814 divided by 18 so we already said that 18 doesn't go into 8 but it does go into 81 what's that first digit we found it was a 4 so we're gonna put that up top now 4 times 18 here's a little trick if you don't know your 18 facts one thing you can do is divide 18 and half and double the other number so what I mean is 9 how many times would 9 go into 81 9 times well we can't use the odd number so it's gonna go 8 times 8 times 9 is 72 so if we're taking that by 18 here it won't go in 8, it'll go in 4 times, because 4 times 18 is 72. Now, if you don't know that trick or that confused you, just do the problem off to the side. 18 times 4. 18 times 4 will give you 72. So now, we keep our 4 up there, we multiply 4 times 18 is 72, and we subtract. 81 minus 72 is going to give us 9. So we have a 9 there, and we must drop the 4. Now, how many times does 18 go into 94? Well, if 18 went into 81 four times, my guess would be five times. Do that problem off to the side. 18 times 5, it's going to give us 90. The same as 9 times 10, because we took 18 by a half and doubled the 10, the 5 to a 10. So 18 times 5 is 90, so we put that beneath the 94. 94 minus 90 is 4. So we have the 5 up top and we have the 4 so we have a remainder of 4. So our answer is 45 remainder 4. Is that answer close to 40? Yes, it's close enough. So now we have to go back to the original problem. And they had 400 or 814 stuffed animals and 18 in each box. So if they want to figure out how many boxes they need, we have to use reasonableness. So they have 45 full boxes, but they have 4 left uh, stuffed animals left over. So what must they do? You're right. They must take in and get in another box because they need to put all of them away. So the last box will only have four stuffed animals, and that's where the remainder comes in. And that's where come using reasonableness is, if they didn't get that 46th box, they would have four stuffed animals that they would not be able to ship out. And if you're a business, you're losing money on those four stuffed animals. So you want to use reasonableness at the end of the problem, after you find the solution, to get your true answer. See if you can do a couple.